Hey, good morning, friends. Welcome to Area Shores Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome to the new subscribers. Please continue to like, subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. Share this channel. Refer this channel. I certainly do appreciate you. Well, a few days ago, I said the prophecy of the Bible is coming true at the speed of light. And I'll give you one more example of what the globalist elitist have in plan, planned for the population, the servants. This is out of Great Britain. Former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, who was once conservative, but not anymore. He's seen the light. Former British Prime Minister Tony Blair and Tory party leader William Hague are now calling for a technical revolution in Great Britain. And what does a technical revolution mean to these people? I'll tell you. Technical revolution in how the state, and this is a quote, on how the state monitors its citizens, including imposition of a digital ID, formation of a national digital ID that would include your personal information, your driver's license, your passport, your tax records, your health records, and the right to work passport in that country. And it's all going to be on digital ID. So they propose. So now let's digest that a little bit and think about what these people are saying. First off, the state monitoring its citizens. Why does the state have any right to monitor its citizens other than for potential domestic terrorists or criminal activity? Can you tell me why they have the right to violate anyone's privacy and the pursuit of happiness? Oh, I forgot. That's England. My bad. We have the same thing here. Look at all the look at all the cameras at every intersection, traffic light intersection. Look at all the cameras monitoring who you are, where you're going, what you're doing, and are you a criminal? <clears throat> a potential domestic terrorist. But we're talking about Great Britain, not America, are we? In Great Britain, under this proposal, they want the state to have the right to monitor its citizens. For what? China does the same thing. It monitors its billion population and decides who can go where, who can buy what, who's a domestic terrorist, who's a practitioner of Christianity or any other religions outside of worshiping the government. China does that. And now the former prime minister and another nut job say, we want the right to monitor our, our people and have digital, digital information on each and every one of you. How far behind is the United States on that thinking? Now, in the Bible, the prophecy calls for the mark of the beast. Everybody thinks it might be the jab. I do not. I believe it is exactly what these buffoons are talking about. A chip implant that is digitally encoded with all your personal information as they are requesting so that all you have to do is go up to the door of your apartment, which was videoed in a microchip implanted in people in Sweden, Finland, Denmark, and other places, go up to your apartment and move your hand up to the digital reader so you can have access to your apartment. Or go up to the digital payment, wave your hand over that, and you paid for a cup of coffee. This is what these people are saying. Only it's much more nefarious than that. When they say the state wants to monitor you, that's giving them power over your life. And when they say, oh, wait a minute, Greg's on YouTube, 
talking about scripture. Greg's on YouTube talking about what the government people who are supposed to serve the people are doing. We can't allow that. We have to digitally erase him. <clears throat> Pardon me. Which they have tried to do numerous times by giving me strikes on YouTube. We want to digitally erase him off of YouTube, off of Twitter, off of Facebook. We want to monitor him by being connected to him technically. So when he puts that chip in there to say, yeah, he's a British citizen or he's an American citizen. He has his driver's license in his hand. We know his health records. Does he have the jab or does he not? Is he allowed to be around people or is he not? Should we keep him from shopping because we don't know his medical status? Hmm. Maybe we should monitor him some more and see if he's buying the wrong foods. He's eating meat. <gasps> oh, no. He's a prepper. He believes in fending for himself while we hide in our bunkers and have our dinner menus already reserved for however many years. <gasps> He's a prepper. We got to keep an eye on him. Let's digitally implant him and then record his movements. <gasps> Who's he sending emails to? <gasps> He's got somebody overseas. He's emailing. He's a foreign domestic terrorist. He's emailing his sister. Do you see where this nonsense is going? There has to be pushback. These people that propose this, these things have to be put out of office. Tony Blair already is. But he, has, he cannot be given any platform or anybody else abroad or here in the United States given platform, even put forth this idea of anybody monitoring anybody, especially the government. I just wanted to bring that to your attention because this is the direction we're moving. This is the direction they're going to put upon us. And all the woke people that support this stuff are going to be the first ones to line up and say, look at me, look at me. I don't need to carry a wallet anymore. My passport, my driver's license, I've been verified. I pay the extra $5 a month to verify who I am. I don't care who you are. If I see you and you say your name is whoever... I take you at your word until you prove me different. If you walk like a duck, quack, quack like a duck, I'm assuming you're a duck. But if you're some person out there that wears hair, long hair, lipstick, and eyelashes and say, I'm Gene from Washington, I'm going to look at you and say, mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think you're a fake. But that's just my opinion. But this is where we're going. This is what's foretold in the scriptures. Get ready, folks. Get ready. They're pushing this hard. Put your faith, your belief in Jesus Christ. Do that. Start with that. Bend the knee and say, look, I made a mess of myself. The life you gave me, I've screwed it up. I need some help. So I'm asking you, Jesus Christ, to come into my heart. Help me out. Help me be a better person. Make me a better man or woman. Repent of your sins. Say, I'm not doing that anymore. I've changed my mind. I've given up drinking drugs, womanizing, manizing, whatever it is, sleeping around, cheating, lying. Laziness. All these things take away from me. And then get yourself baptized, submerged in water, wash clean, start a new life. For a lot of people, that's extremely difficult to do because they don't want to give up the sins that they believe are bringing them pleasure. And they're going to be the first ones to accept the mark of the beast. Put that chip in my hand so I could go have a beer. That's what it's going to come down to. 
Do you want to have the pleasure now and worry about the consequences later? Or do you want to live your life right and be ha happy eternally? Your choice is yours. Greg out.